In this video, we're going to be showing the new Bridge Wizard option in OpenBridge Modeler. This allows us to create uh, a bridge very quick with the templates that we already have in our libraries here. So here, I will go Bridge 1, name of the alignment. Right? It shows all the alignments that are present in your DGN file. Now, how you can find the name of the alignment, you can go to element selection, hover to the alignment, and as you can see, complex element, route 97. So this is the alignment in which I'm going to be placing my bridge. And I'm going to be using, as well, the templates that are already defined in the multiple libraries that I have in the software. Happens to be, for example, I'm going to be using slab with constraints. Right? So saying that, Let's come back to the wizard. And I'm going to name my bridge, bridge one. And as I mentioned before, this is going to be route 97. And it will only show here only the alignments that have a profile attached to it, as route 97 has one. The type of bridge is going to be a pristress girder. I'm going to use that tech templates. How do I define the number of spans? There are many options. One, it could be just separate that uh, number of spans by length. So here, for example, I got one span at 90, and the other one could be uh, 80, for example, and maybe a third span will be another 90. So that will be three spans, right? Or if I have three spans of 90, I can go three and 90, and that will be also that spans. So that one way to do it, well, again, another way to write the same thing would be like that. Right? This is going to be a small bridge. So let's do 90 and 110. So two spans. I want five beams at an eight feet separation. This is the type of beam that I want to use. This is going to be a uh, type 4 for example or type 5 for example if I selected this right so it's a type 5 that is the type of abutment that it comes on the templates the column pier that I'm going to use and the barriers I just need to key in the station I'm going to start at 115 plus 00, zero. and as I saying that just goes and I quickly has place a bridge once it's placed, I can still use the other commands to modify the bridge and adjust it according to my needs. So here I got the bridge. Right? So I can start finishing the bridge, for example, uh, adjusting the abutment lens uh, and all the other options. Place bearings too. See, that's, these are standards, right? So we can start modifying all the other dimensions that I need to adjust the bridge specifically to my needs. But then with the bridge wizard, I just created a bridge fairly quick that I can just modify it. So, and that is your bridge with the bridge wizard. Thank you.